Yes, now to Washington, D.C., where nearly 600 people, mainly women, were arrested on Capitol Hill, among them the actress and activist Susan Sarandon. children from their families, our whole system of denying asylum seekers, treating them as if they, it is unlawful, is completely wrong and unconstitutional. And uh, we're here to put our bodies down and try to keep the discussion going and make it clear that we're not stopping. We're going to fix this if it takes many arrests to do it. And uh, this is just one of many marches where people can understand that uh, this is a serious, we we're taking this seriously, and in this moment of history, we're going to be on the right side of what needs to happen. Marita Solano, I'm from Silver Spring, Maryland. I come from an immigrant family, a mixed status family, and I'm here to represent them and to represent the community that I currently work with. Um, to tell, this was the first time I've ever getting arrested. Um, or participating in this form of civil disobedience uh, because I think it's time to sort of take a stand on this racist um, anti-immigrant administration and I'm here representing my family my community because I have the power to do so to represent them um, in these times I'm a little nervous because it's my first time getting arrested but I'm excited um, I've been feeling really uh, powerful in the couple, last couple of weeks um, in terms of what I can do as a citizen of this country, and I feel like it was time for me to get arrested. Linda Sarsour, I'm one of the co-chairs of the Women's March and Executive Director of Empowered Change, and I'm from Brooklyn, New York, in Washington, D.C. I mean, in light of the dark moments that we have in our country, from ripping children from their parents to the Supreme Court decision on the Muslim ban, on the anti-abortion clinics, on breaking down labor, on Justice Kennedy retiring, and us having to, you know, think about what our Supreme Court is going to look like for the next 30, 40 years, I feel inspired. I feel inspired by women from across the country who came here uh, to risk arrest and say we're not going to sit back um, when this injustice is happening. So the world is pretty messed up. And I that feel. does it for our show. Special thanks to Renee Feltz, Hani Massoud, Sam Alkoff, Laura Gottesdiener, Libby Rainey, Dennis Moynihan, and to our team in New York, Mike Burke, John Hamilton, Robbie Karen, Sharina Nadura, Nat Needham, and to our crew here in Brownsville, John Lance, Tom Fitzgerald, Dan Teachworth, Kurt Kirkendall, uh, Claudia, and Maria Luisa. Democracy Now! has job openings for full-time news producer. Check it out at democracynow.org. I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks so much for joining us. We broadcast from the Mexico-Texas border.